All right, re recording. Hey, team call. Um, what is today? August 24th, 2016. And listen, I know a lot of you guys had a lot of other obligations. You guys texted me and stuff, so I appreciate that. But Dance Online Live, thank you very much. And we were chatting, not recording, because we had some stuff to talk about and no one else was there. So that's how it goes, guys. You got preferential treatment. You show up on these, these team calls. But um, there are some things that we do have to had for sure questions that I think are beneficial to everybody. So um, let's get into that really quick. So we only have about 15 minutes or so. Um, one of the things for sure we were talking about is like pages. And I definitely think like pages are worthwhile. That's probably where I have grown my business the most. I will say, but that doesn't mean that's everybody's niche. I mean, I think you should find two platforms. Your personal page on Facebook could be a great, great platform for you if you're willing to go public or post publicly and you have a great warm market. Then it can be really, really beneficial. I started out with no social media whatsoever. So I started at ground zero, guys. So. Um, I had to start really from scratch. If you guys have several hundred people on your personal page and you're communicating with them, don't waste that as an opportunity is what I say. Um, you have people, they just need to start inching in and seeing that you are changing. And all that means is that 80-20 rule for a personal page is what all the recommendations are and I think it's true and I definitely did that more as I eased into things. I've probably gotten more into the fitness side of it on my personal page as I've gone on over time um, because I'm not treating it as much more as a business than trying to not offend people. <laughs> At first I was very conscious of, I didn't want to be like fitness, 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 fitness. And not that, I, not that I'm saying you want to post anything that says beach body or buy this, or this is the sale. I mean, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but I post a lot of my workouts in the morning. Um, that's for my own accountability and that's to show the world that I'm serious about this and this stuff works. So to incorporate that sort of thing, I think is great on your personal page. You just can't necessarily do that every post on your personal page. If you follow the 80-20 rule, that means 20% is fitness stuff, 80% is personal, fun, family, whatever. But that may mean you just need to up your posts on your personal page. Maybe to get your fitness stuff out there more, there needs to be four posts a day. Three of them are non-fitness. One is fitness. One's healthy eating. One's this, something you care about. Just point of reference. Um, like pages. I found a like page to be very, very helpful for me because I did not have a warm market. And again, your situation may be different. You may have friends and family that know, trust, and love you and will follow you to the, to the nth degree and believe already in what you're doing. If you don't, I think the quicker you get on a like page, the smarter you are. Um, the benefits of a like page are you can pre-schedule right on the like page. Love that. You can advertise, you can boost your post, you can advertise to specific groups. And that I really like a lot too. There are definitely uh, programs or uh, video trainings that we've done and certain things if you just Google them, but will help you with like pages on the advertising and stuff. You can, what I found the most effective thing to be honest is excluding things like I will go in there and you want to be very specific to your niche. So if you are a brand new mom or you're pregnant, like maybe that's something that's in your niche. If you are a soccer coach, you want to be talking, you know, if you are a full time um, working mom, you may have different things or like me, like I just love diners, drivers and dives. Like, that's my, I love that stuff. I'll listen to that all day. Even though it's not healthy, I don't care. That's stuff I like. So I put in stuff that I like, but I exclude things like Beachbody. I exclude Autumn Calabrese. I exclude, um, I don't know, 
all the things that I wouldn't ever relate to somebody about, let's say. Like, um, you could exclude, they have demographics, they have gender. Like, if you don't want to, if you're like, I'm a girl and I don't want to talk to a dude and I don't want them to be on my team, you can exclude and say, I just only want to talk to females. So the post, your ad will only go to those specific people which is very cool about focusing your paid posts to the right people that you actually want. And that's why like pages are so effective. I have found that I boost specific posts. Videos do very well with Facebook. Live videos do awesome with Facebook because it's new. They are cheap to advertise with a couple of bucks will get you very very far so that's why i do so many videos and at first i sucked at videos you keep doing them you get better people don't like perfect it's fine flub up whatever the more you the less you care and less you worry about it i think the better but you can do a budget so if you want two dollars five dollars you can even try to um add people to your like page and i found that effective too um i'll maybe for four or five bucks i will just do a very basic post of and you can say in the advertising i the, i want this goal to be liking my like page so you build the likes so that later you can just boost to the people that like your page does that make sense mm -hmm. so if you if you are targeting and you're not accepting, you're like, if you don't, you, you don't want to target the world. You aren't going to appeal to the world. The world isn't going to relate to you. You want to find the people that you have a connection with, whether that's your home state, your college, your occupation, your kids, whatever it is that you love. Those are the two or three, four or five things that you should be targeting to because that's how you can relate to people. You want to build likes of for people that have a like-mindedness with you. That way, when you boost to them and you pay a couple of bucks to do that, you're boosting to the people that actually get you. And like, oh, he's on her journey too. And she's struggling and oh, she fell off the wagon. Well, guess what? I fell off the wagon too. I like her, but guess what? How did she overcome it? You're posting about it so they see you consistent and they see how you're overcoming things and how you're dealing with the challenges that they probably have too. So another good example is if you have um, diabetes or MS or you're hypothyroid, you know, those, those are great little things to kind of target and Facebook like ads let you do that, which is really, really cool. You can get very specific. And I do encourage you to take some time with the Facebook ads part and try to be specific with that. So you're just not preaching and trying to get likes from everyone on the planet because you're wasting your time and you're wasting your money, in my opinion, if you're not targeting certain people that are going to actually follow you. That makes a sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's one of the reasons I really love the like pages. Now, um, yeah, I was also asking my apps. I use apps definitely, and I think I have in our coach, um, coach's corner team aspire. I think I do have a list of popular phone apps that are used. But let me just show you what I typically use every single day. Um, pick play post. I don't know if you guys. Let me see if I can do this so you guys can see it. Yeah. Will it show? No. Maybe. Kind of there now. Uh, okay, never mind. All right, it's called Pick Play Post. That's where I do, I record my videos on my iPhone. Um, then you can go to Pick Play Post, and for free, you can edit them. So different links. So if you're on Instagram, you can only go 15 seconds. You can edit those. If, you know, you made a funny face or, Sometimes I'll record um, me working out and it'll be a 60 second segment. Well, I'm not gonna 
necessarily post the full 60 seconds. Maybe I'm going to extract 20 seconds from that. And I'll pick that. You can edit it right in there. You can edit the size. Of course, one by one is always what you want to use for Instagram. Everything else, you know, on Facebook. But this is how also, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you go. See how there's different, there's a side by side, there's a quadrant. All those available right there on the pick layout. I paid, I think, two bucks for the upgraded version pick play post. And that is why you guys see my um, christinepinkfitness.com at the bottom. Otherwise, it will show pick play post. Not a big deal. When you're starting out, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I did pick play post or I did some other pick jointer, I think, or something um, before I finally ever got a blog or a website. But once I did get the website, I paid for the $2 upgrade on pick play post. So they can always have that on the bottom of my pictures. So they're mine. And if somebody sees them, they'll know to at least find me on my website or blog or whatever you want to call it. Um, a plus signature is what I use on my photographs to write words on. And that one I love. I think again, it's $2 to get the, best version of it where you can script, you can pull any picture, um, and there's all kinds of, I'll do that like on my food posts. If you guys see my food posts, I always end up using A plus signature because I can manipulate the size. I always put christinefinkfitness.com or before I had that I would christinefink, you know, F, Facebook fb.com slash christine think fit mm -hmm. something to identify so that it was showing that it was mine and no one else could use it without at least me getting credit for it so that I always use it's called a plus as in the plus sign signature and I do believe I did pay for the upgrade of like again it's two dollars but I've never paid it once and I've used it for three years or something um, that thing is great P.S. Express, Photoshop Express is another one I do use all the time. That will help you um, crop. It'll help you change color. It'll help you change clarity and sharpen photos. That one I have not upgraded. I just use the free version. If you have a photo of a picture, guaranteed, if I'm taking, if I have a second, I use that and I sharpen and clarify it and put a little border on it and crop it so that that picture of whatever I'm eating or whatever I made looks fantastic and jumps off the page. So I'll usually do that first and then go to A plus signature and put my thing somewhere so that it says it's me. Okay. okay. Um, like pages. Facebook like pages does have its own app. If you didn't know that, I'm trying to I'm looking at my phone as we're doing this, but Facebook like pages has their own app that is separate from Facebook, which is helpful. Um, I do use that. Let's see what else. Those are the you use the Facebook um, page manager, like where you can manage. Do you use that one? That may be the thing. Uh, that may be what I'm talking about. I use, can you see? Yeah. This one is my normal Facebook up at the top. Yeah. Okay. And then. Yeah, that's the page manager one. Yeah, that's the one. That's for your like pages. Okay. That's yeah, it's, page, it's pages manager, Facebook pages manager. Okay. okay. That, that's what I use for, that's for, for my like page. That's what I use for that. Okay. Um, those are really the main ones I use, to be honest. I don't go crazy with anything. Um, the 21 day fix app is awesome to be aware of. I use it, uh, when I'm on track <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I notice a difference when I'm on track and I use my little, little <laughs> app, uh, versus what I don't. So that's a good thing for your challengers to know about too, if you don't use it, but at least for your challengers and, um, I also have the Asana app. 
Have you ever heard of a sauna? Um, in one of, I think it was, um, oh, whose post did I met, hear about it the other day? Can't remember. It was one of the other okay. coaches. I ever know if there's a sauna, things like that. Um, I experimented with a sauna and it's got a little bit overwhelming to use for me on a day-to-day -day basis, but what I found it to be very effective with is, um, and it's an app on here as well, and you can also do it on the computer, but I found that to be very effective for um, my coaches. So at first I tried to do like, oh, I talked to so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. It got way too crazy. And if you listen to Meg Wisensi's call, um, team call on team um, hardcore this week, you got to simplify what you're tracking. You have to track, but you have to also be mindful of what you're tracking. It can get very overwhelming. So I have found Asana to be a good tool for me, specifically for my account with Beachbody, my husband's account, and my coach's accounts. So, or, um, or new challenge pack purchasers, I will. I might put them in there, and as a reminder, uh, twenty-two days out to let them know that hey, you're on an HD program. If you want, if you love Shakeology like I love it, it's going to come to you at the thirtieth day. You'll be charged. You'll be shipped. Same thing with the club account. But if you don't. Here's how you can amend that because I never want somebody to be surprised and, and get charged something. I mean, I don't know if it's on their debit card or something mm -hmm. like that or coming out of their someone's account. And I still don't want somebody to be charged for something that they weren't um, clear on. So I will use Asana to tickle that because it pops my email, which is great for me as a secondary reminder going. And it'll tell you, I think it's like two or three days in advance, you have a task to do. It's coming up. You have a test due in three days for yet. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Let me look. What was that again? Okay, it's a good reminder. And then it says, okay, now your task is due. Now your task is overdue. Did you do what you were supposed to do on that? So I use that pretty limited now um, for important things. And you actually put, um, and I have a tutorial in that in our coaches corner okay. group Kendra Kendra I can't think of her last name but it's in the top part of it was one of the things about and I use I put the task as your name like who I doing it for so I can just search a task name and that seems to work well because I get an email reminder not just the reminder of my phone okay. that I might lose that so anything that's important as a follow up, I always put in Asana, and that's I use it very limited, but it seems to help me. Really quick before I forget, we run out of time. Yeah. Um, discussing about the new bet. Mm. Oh my gosh, totally forgot about that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, gosh, um, the health bet. Yeah. So what that is, it's brand new this year, 2016. They've never done it before. That is going to be something. Uh, let me just tell you right now. FAQ 4477. You guys have questions on what's going on with Beachbody. Number one, check your coach online office. In your coach online office, there is breaking news. Once you go click coach, click coach online office once you log into Team Beachbody. On the right hand side of your page is breaking news. But besides that, at the bottom of your page, there's an FAQ section. I use it all the time. You guys have questions? That is the first place you should be going because I actually had another coach asking me today about the challenge tracker app. And I go, go check your FAQs. I mean, this coach wasn't, this is not on my team, by the way, but she knows I know what I'm doing. So she's asking me, well, I don't have time. I'm more focused on my people. Go check. I don't mind answering questions, but there are tools that are available to you and you are your own CEO of your business. So go check it out. If you still don't understand or if you have further questions, great. But 
Beachbody Health Bet Contest 2016. It's brand new. FAQ 4477 will give you all the details on it. The basics are you need to be in a challenge group and you need to be using the Challenge Tracker app. Now, for you guys, how much time do I have? Not much. But they haven't stopped me yet, so I, that's good. Oh, I didn't record right away. Ah, yes. We didn't record right away, Diet. <laughs> we have a little more time. Um, the deal is for you guys, my personally sponsored coaches, and actually the coaches of my coaches, all of you guys, I do that monthly Elite Get Fit group, okay? When you are new and before you feel comfortable doing these on your own, by the way, my entire format is in the Coaches Corner Team Aspire group. You guys have it there to copy, to use, to tweak to yourself. So it'll be very simple for you to do your own group the minute you feel okay with doing it because you don't have to create it, it at all. You just have to tweak mine or copy mine and put your name on it. I don't care. Go for it. But until that point, and especially for this health bet thing that's coming up, it is from September 5th for the next four weeks. The deal is you have to be using the Challenge Tracker app. What I have decided to do, because I right now um, I have a free healthy menu group going, and I did it strictly on the Challenge Tracker app as an experiment. I did all my posts on there, which you can do. It's great. There's, um, they even have challenge guides. You can pre-schedule. You can do everything. So just people need to use, oops, sorry. They just need to use their phones, which is cool for some people that maybe aren't Facebook people. They're, they're Instagram people or whatever. And if you really want to incorporate them, use the Challenge Tracker app. The cool thing about that too, the positive part is that um, it you can set it to remind you, did you post your Shakeology today? Did you post your workout today? And it, it helps with your goal setting. So if you guys haven't checked that out, again, go to your FAQs, Challenge Tracker app. It'll give you tons of information. As a coach, we use a Challenge Tracker portal. That's how we set it up. Again, your FAQs will give you this information. But you'd set that up. The thing I um, didn't like about the Challenge Tracker app is that you had to get emails from everybody. So in this free group, they didn't necessarily purchase anything from me in advance, so they're not in my coach online office. So I had to get people to give me their emails. Uh, which is beneficial for building an email list, but then you then you send them through the Challenge Tracker portal an invite and instructions how to join the Challenge Tracker portal and download the app to their phone. And I found not a lot of people took that extra step. So I don't know that I will continue to do that for a free group. It was kind of an experiment this month. And that's what coaching is about too, you guys. I mean, you have to experiment. You fail. You fail forward. You learn from it. And guaranteed, I'll probably the next month go back to my old way of using um, my Facebook groups, maybe adding the checker, but probably not because these people are, are free. They're not necessarily customers yet. But what I'm going to do is in my Elite Get Fit group for September, the 30-day group, I will add the Challenge Tracker app component to that group. So I'm going to run it basically the way I have always run it through Facebook. It will be the September Elite Get Fit group. But everyone that joins... I will send a challenge tracker invite to, and I'm just hoping that they process it through and I emphasize enough that they do it in time to be eligible because we have a September 5th start date. So that's your critical point. Um, 
all of you as my coaches and your coaches' coaches, I have no issue with you inviting people to that same group. So I do the basic posts for you. I just want you to be in there and interacting, especially with your people. But make it fun, you know, jump in for me and like let's help each other out and help the challengers out. On the Challenge Tracker app, I will be happy to start that portal and add you guys in as fellow admins if you want so that okay. you send out your invites too. My plan is, as of today, is to use the Challenge Tracker simply for them posting the Shakeology and the workouts mainly to qualify for the health bet qualifications. Okay. Because that is the only way that you the people are going to qualify. Yes. For that forwards. And the key thing is, is they have to have their program and they have to have their shakes in time and be signed up in the challenge tracker app by really September 4th. So they can start on September 5th because they need five shake posts per week for the next four weeks in September. Those posts have to be with a picture of their shake, of their shake, you drinking the shake, you making the shake. Again, that's in your FAQs. It tells you exactly what we're gonna do. And I'll put that in the, in the groups so that people, people know, but trust me, they'll ask you 10 times, so you might as well have it at your fingertips. Um, you have to work out three days a week, each week for the four weeks, and you have to post it three times a week. So that basically that's it. You have to be in a challenge group. You have to have the challenge tracker app and you have to post according to what the requirements are. Three um, exercises, beach body exercises a week, five shakes a day. And guess what? You do that, you will get a share of between one and a half million dollars and three million dollars, depending on how much is in the pot. Not a bad deal. Not Why wouldn't you do that? Because the worst thing that's going to happen, you get healthier. And you might get five bucks to go down and get a coffee or something. I don't know. But, <laughs> but who knows how much? Maybe it's a hundred dollars. I mean, we have no idea because it depends on how many people join, how many people do it right. How many people stick with it for the full four weeks? Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, people won't start on time. They'll go strong week one, and by week two, they'll start to falter off. Or week two, for week one and two, they'll do it, but by the week four, they won't do it. All you gotta do is just you know pump somebody up and say, "Listen, you're gonna get paid something to do." something that helps you health wise and they're they're not asking for the world and the moon i mean you and i know if i drink checkology i mean i drink it five, seven days a week if you would drink it somebody who's never had one shake a day ever and they drink it five days a week they're going to feel better if they just did that but now we're asking you just work out three days a week come on anybody can do a 20, 30 minute workout, three days a week for four weeks and get paid for it. Yeah, I think it's a selling point for sure. Yeah, definitely. Does that, any other questions on the health bet thing? Nope, I think that covered it. Okay, because really, seriously, I mean, I'll, I'm already doing what needs to be done. You guys just need to let me know that you want, want in um, on it and, and participate in it. And you need to participate in it, so you guys get a check too. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a check. Why Me not? Too. Why aren't we? Why aren't we all gonna get healthier, get fit, and get paid for it even more than as a coach? So, I think it's a huge selling point. I think it's a great opportunity to um, talk to people in a different way and say, "Listen, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You, this is an opportunity. You, who knows what you're what." what that check's going to be like in October, November, come Christmas time, which mm -hmm. will have a, a little extra cash. Again, maybe it's only five bucks. Maybe it's a hundred. Maybe it's five. I mean, we don't know because we don't know how many people are going to stick with it. 
All you got to do is stick with the plan for four weeks. I love that. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to take the burden off of the newer coaches and, and, and those that aren't feeling comfortable yet. So um, you guys are always welcome to add into my Elite Get Fit group. You just got to communicate with me and then jump in yourselves and, and help with the group. That's all I ask is that you're talking to your people, encouraging everybody in the group. And uh, this, this time it is going to be a little different because we have to do the challenge tracker. We have to do it. And I don't think it's a bad thing because it does send you a reminder if you tell it to. Um, it'll say, yeah, you haven't recorded your Shakeology today. You haven't recorded your workout today. Have you done that? Oh, go ahead and do it. So you just got to make sure that you're following the rules. So, um, it's great I, accountability as well. It's great accountability. And that's the best thing I like about the tracker app. I'm just not sure yet if I love it for a whole group because it seems to me like it's one more thing to go look at. Yeah. And I know that sounds awful, but it's one more thing to go look at where I'm already on Facebook for other things. So it's Facebook part seems simpler. So I right now today, my plan is to set up the group for September as I always have done on Facebook as a separate group for that month. But I need to get my acting gear and get that up so that you guys can start adding people. But even that's not the most critical thing as I got to get the, I just need to open the challenge tracker so that you guys can add people. And more importantly, I think they have to have orders in, I would say, absolutely no later than this Monday, the 29th, because we know how shipping goes. It's about seven days for most people. And a holiday weekend coming up. Yeah. And I, I think... If you want to start, I mean, yeah, you have a, you've got a two day window because you only have to post your shakes five days, but really I hate to somebody, I hate for somebody to miss out on getting a check because they did order in time and don't have it. I mean, it's just, you know, they're waiting to get their shake and they can't, and if you can't post with the picture, it doesn't count. You can't just say you did it because they have to have some evidence that you're actually drinking Shakeology because we want, you know, we want people to have the real effects. And I've had somebody in one of my um, general get fit groups uh, lately that I do for people that aren't quite ready for Shakeology or quite ready for beach body. They don't understand the value yet. Um, and she made a comment about it being a protein powder and I corrected her as politely as I could, but I said, just it's not a protein powder I mean it's one element of it but it's so much more and and uh, it's a nutrition shake it's a meal replacement shake it's this and it's gonna you know with 70 natural ingredients your body is gonna react not at all the same way as just a protein powder that's not what it is no. and um, I don't think people really appreciate that I know I didn't until I drank it and drank it consistently and I think a 30 day window is a minimum to feel the benefits of it. So it's, I think it's going to help us as coaches to get as many people on board because if the money incentive will help keep people accountable, that's going to help keep them reaping the rewards of health and fitness. And I think 20 days mini, minimum of Shakeology, they will start to feel something better. They'll feel that energy, they'll feel, they'll wake up easier, they'll start noticing things, and if they exercise at least three days a week, like I said, we're not asking you to go crazy in seven days a week and you know hour and a half workouts, but I think if, if we get people that maybe weren't on Shakeology at all, and they can get 20 shakes in minimum for, for the month of September, they're going to feel better. They're going to want to continue. And that is the whole point. So I think it's a really great uh, way of um, an, an incentive that doesn't have to come from us. Mm -hmm. You just have to be there to support them and then say, hey, don't you feel better after 20, you know, after the 30 days and 20 shakes? Actually, yeah, I do. Okay, well, let's keep going with that. 
now let's step it up. Maybe we want to do something a little bit more. And speaking of that, just so you guys do know, the other opportunity, and I believe it starts, it does. Um, you guys know if anyone gets a challenge pack, um, Peach Buddy on Demand challenge pack is one of the options for $140. You guys know, like seriously, there's I think like eight challenge packs this month that are only $140 and Shakeology itself is $130. So for $10 more, there's so many options. 21 Day Fix, 22 Hardcore, Country Heat, of course, um, Peach Buddy on Demand, Pio, I think size as well. I mean, there's a ton. So you're really appealing people at all different exercise um, likes and fitness levels. But again, check your back office, check your FAQ, they'll tell you exactly what there is. But if you don't know, um, at Summit, they also talked about, and also in your back office breaking news, is the three week yoga retreat that's going to be exclusively on Beachbody On Demand. You get that for free with any challenge pack for 30 days. So you could get Beachbody On Demand for $140 and have that for three months. Or you want a country heat, you have the discs, but maybe you want to start off with the three week yoga retreat. Um, that is completely included in your club membership. No additional charge to do that. That's brand spanking new. It's coming up August 31st. So you could do that or somebody that wants to learn yoga and um, not have it be all maybe then and oh and <laughs> like too weird. Because um, I'm not really a yoga type person, but I think maybe I've been turned off by some of the uh, environments like I wouldn't may necessarily go into a yoga studio and feel comfortable because people are so into it and maybe I just want to learn how to be more flexible what they've done with this yoga retreat is really cool uh, blank behind you no alms no zens no weird music no weird breathing things um, strictly week by week by week so the third week so they will break it down for you so that you learn the techniques so that maybe at the end you actually would feel comfortable going into a yoga studio maybe you just need to be a, someone that needs to stress and uh, stretch and, and relax a little bit but um, they actually did it Carl Dyckler was on stage you're talking about this really cool that they put somebody with a board could not see the instructors and if they could not do the moves blindly based on what they were talking about they had to redo it they had to revamp it so it's very basic tutorial learning how to do the basic moves so if somebody was interested in that maybe they just were like I just need to de-stress I just I don't want anything high impact I don't know you could literally offer this health bet deal for them they could get beach body on demand have it for three months of that three months they could start out with three week yoga for free and then they have what 25 or 30 other workout programs that they could check out see if they want to continue but at least they get through that whole month of september with the health bet so some pretty cool options um country heat kind of fun all kinds of good stuff but and you guys have you seen the fixate cookbook show no, I haven't. Oh my God, it's awesome. That's on that's on Beach Buddy on Demand as well. Totally free. So you guys need to be leveraging those things when you're talking to somebody who has a 21 day fix, who gets the country heat um, portion control containers. I mean, they're coming with 22 minute hardcore now. They're coming. They're coming with a lot of things. Are people just buying them on their own? One of the advantages of having Beach Buddy on Demand, being a club member for three bucks a week, is now. They have the fixate cooking show and it's autumn with her professional chef brother Bobby and they're showing you brand new recipes she's showing you what I love 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 is um, the intro to the portion control containers so I don't know if you guys have been asked but I've done like four videos on it trying to explain 
how to use the containers, how to use the book, all of that sort of thing. And really now Autumn can do it for you. You just direct them. They get it free for the 30 days once they sign up with a challenge pack anyway. So you just say, hey, go check out the Beachbody On Demand feature. And even if they don't want to work out with any of this stuff, now they can go and learn about the containers from the person that developed the containers <laughs> and get some extra recipes and, and that sort of thing. So that's a really cool um, extra feature that you can be talking about that's included with your challenge pack. That's awesome. Yeah, so just these things to try to leverage. Um, I guess I think the only last thing I wanted to mention is you, you mentioned yet about um, going emerald, goals to diamond. I think it's a very, very important to have goals. And I think if you don't have goals with a deadline, you'll never ever achieve them. You have to have a goal, you have to have a deadline. And I remember talking to you way back about you having that dry erase board. You're like, I am. I'm <laughs> it's still up there. <laughs> yes. Right, so not hitting the goal is not the end of the world, in my opinion. It's having the goal and having a deadline, and if you don't meet that deadline, it's readjusting the deadline. That's all it is. But I think um, you have to be realistic in the deadlines, and you can't say you cannot give yourself a year to go on. <laughs> you, because it gives you too many outs. It's like exercising. Oh, I'll start on Monday. And then... Well, Monday, I didn't really feel good. And then, like you were just pointing out earlier, actually, no, you guys are starting on Friday. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why put it off to Monday when you could actually have three workouts in by Monday? Yeah. That's, that's how you have to approach, I think, the goals in the business. Emerald, um, I've, you've heard it before, if you've listened to any of the trainings, is a decision. It's who do you know in your life? You've got to know two people that need Shakeology. Could you Shakeology at a discount and get them on board? If you can find somebody that really wants to run with the business, great. Um, I signed up my dad and my sister. And then a little bit later, Ryan had to get on board because I told him he had to. I mean, <laughs> that's, just how, that's just how things work um, when you want to be active. Um, and But it benefited my sister has lost a ton of weight she feels healthier and more fit I mean it's not that you're taking advantage of your family or something like that it's it's just exposing it to people that you know could benefit from them that maybe are you know in that circle that also would like to benefit help you out a little bit and I don't know financial position to put to do that um, but yeah Emerald one on each side get there that's where that's the first line where you can start hitting a success club and earning free customers, earning free Shakeology customers, where you start banking your um, team volume, and that's where you earn cycle bonuses. So it's important to get there if you want to build a business. If you're just sitting back as a discount coach, no, who cares? But if, you, if you're looking this for an income situation, getting to Emerald and getting it to Emerald quickly, uh, is definitely important because you want to be banking that team volume so that when you cycle through, you're going to start earning some extra money with not, you don't want it all to be about commissions. You want to start earning residual income. And that's about getting to a certain, that's about just getting to Emerald and start banking that sort of thing. So that's really, really important. And then of course you start looking at Diamond and you go on from there to Star Diamond where you can start adding a second business center and really start things moving and you get extra bonuses from Beachbody. It just goes on and on and on. But the first step really is Emerald. And that if, if you're into it, then, oh, oh, they had the baby. Oh, yay. <laughs> so you can jump on now. <laughs> yeah, she can jump on now. She's, been, <laughs> she's just the aunt. No big deal. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but um, no, so th I do think those things are important, and, and trust me, I have set goals and missed goals over and over again, but I continue to set them, and I find that every time I do set them, I push just a little bit harder, and if I make it, you know, if I give myself too many, it's like exercise, if I give myself too many outs, 
I will take those outs. So don't be afraid to push hard for, towards a goal. And if you, if you fail, you fail. But I guarantee you, you got yourself further along than you would have if you gave yourself oodles of time. Yeah. You got, is that Ella? No, no, my husband came in after night. My son was grounded today from all electronics, so I hid the remotes from him. Ah, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So, um, and the biggest, oh, the other, oh, God, I just keep rambling, I feel like, tonight. But um, I think the biggest thing to, to moving to Emerald, to getting advancing in your business is adding to your network. That means expanding the number of people you're talking to because if you're posting the same four people they hate you by now they're like stop posting i don't want to see this anymore stop asking me if i want to get shake allergy i told you 14 times i don't want to get shake you can't you're not that's not the goal how you advance is expand your network expand the people that you're speaking to that you're developing a relationship to so that the likelihood of somebody saying yes increases. It's strictly a numbers game. And I will tell you the top coaches are simply talking to more people than we're talking to. The reason they got there is because they're talking. And trust me, the top coaches were full-time employees, were moms, were, you know, are these things. And like, now maybe they're not now because they've gotten to the point where they can retire from that but there's nothing trick special about this it's about talking to more people you don't want to convince anybody you know you don't want to spam them do weird things but look around you go to the mall go to go to anywhere or amusement park go look around you are, you're, you cannot tell me that people are eating properly, exercising right, and on a health journey for their benefit for themselves and their kids. There's definitely people out there that we can talk to. And the point of it is that you know somebody that I don't know. And you know somebody that I don't know. And so that's how it just happens. And the more people we talk to, the more likely that someone's going to be at that point in their life that they want to hear it and want to make a change. And today they may not, three months later they might, because we all know we've been at the place, guilty. Someone talked to me about being healthy and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing fine, leave me alone. And some days then later you're like, ah, I actually need to do something about this. And we all get to that journey and that point at different times. So keep talking to people, it'll happen. Yeah, that's the thing. Totally, but surely it's going to happen for me. Oh, <laughs> more than more than surely, and that's the thing. I mean, I've gone into this. I seriously have about very long term mindset. I know that this is helping me personally. You got to believe that it's helping you personally, and that as long as you're sharing it, you're not being weird about it. It's like it's helping you. And if you can help somebody else, even one other person, then you're doing good. And then it's rewarding for that. And, and if we can change our lives financially, all the better. I like that too, you know, who doesn't? But, you know, you just got to realize that bottom line is when you're feeling good, you project it. Mm -hmm. And it just changes. Like people notice. So, if you're like, life happens, right? Life happens and things, bad stuff happens. If you don't have something positive to look to, it's that much harder. Yeah. So let's make it easier and take this for the advantage that it is and say, okay, if we feel better, we have more confidence, we feel better, we have more energy. And then that just relays out and then you just have project. And for someone like you, Dia, I mean, with, with the kids, I'm like, I saw this last week with my niece and nephew. I had a little, <laughs> my little niece, she jumped in there and started doing the exercise with me. And she, oh, my, my three-year-old does it too. 
yeah, and she was like doing it better than me. I'm like, how did you know how to do that? She never seen that. They watch us and you know, and I'm not a mom, so I don't see it all that often. I see it only when I'm with my niece and nephew, but man, they watch us and it's important for us to be good examples and show them the right way to do things and the good habits. And, you know, I would only want that for them. So if I can be that light, I want to be that light. If nothing else for the little ones in our lives. So why not do it for everybody? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. My daughter's favorite thing is grabbing. She'll like jump on her bed, like jogging. And she's like, I'm exercising mommy. Like you. <laughs> Look, I know it's so great. What, she's three? Mm -hmm. It's like awesome. That's awesome. So, all right. Anything else before we wrap this up? We've gone. We've gone. Nope. I think we've covered everything. All right. Sounds good. Uh, we will definitely be chatting again soon, but thank you for jumping on. And I'm yes. glad, uh, glad I could hopefully answer some of your questions tonight. Yes. And hopefully they're helpful for other people and all that good stuff. Stuff, and uh, I'll be seeing you on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Night night. Bye. Bye.